Okay, so you have finished setting up your store, tables, and floor map. Now this is the last step before your contactless operation can be fully kickstarted. We will demonstrate how menu can be created using our management dashboard. Before you have created any menu, when the customers scan your menu, this is what they will see. All right, let's fix that by creating your first menu. Go to Management Dashboard, Menu Management. There are six steps to create a complete menu. However, many of the steps are optional. It's optional to create customization, promotions, or vouchers. So let's go ahead to create a menu. Create menu. Let's create a dinner menu. You can choose to turn on the multi-courses to allow your chef to uh, turn on course scheduling on their kitchen site. You can allow your customers to pay cash at cashier. However, this will hinder your contactless operation as the customers do have to approach you at the cashier. So if you don't wish to take any payment at the counter, you can turn this off. This option allows you to accept payments online. Some restaurant owners do not want to get, um, get online payments. So uh, it's optional for those uh, owners to turn off these settings. However, if you turn off these settings, please turn on the to accept, cat, uh, to accept payment at your cashier. So let's accept both for now. Next, create a uh, set your menu available time. So this is a dinner menu. Let's set starting time from six, four o'clock. However, I'm not going to go over all of them. You can switch all of the, the hours for each day to customize the availability of your menu here. You have additional advanced settings for each of the advanced ordering services that you were able to turn on on your store setting. For example, if you want a menu that's dedicated for pre-ordering, you can allow pre-ordering and turn off all the other settings for, for the menu to be only pre-ordering. Similarly, you can create delivery only menu or dining only menu. So now let's create a menu that's available for pre-ordering, pickup, bookings, and let's not hide the menu for dining. Okay. So you can set a maximum available tables that can be assigned every half hour to control the dining room space. Let's say 10 tables. Let's say it only allow 10 tables to be booked every half hour. You can set maximum customers per table. Now with the COVID-19, maybe more like four. Set minimum minutes in advance that your customer has to um, uh, has to uh, notify you before they can order. So this will allow your kitchen to have enough time to get prepared. You can also set maximum days in advance that your customer can pre-order. So save changes. So now we have created your dinner menu. The second step is to create a category. In the category section, you can create different types of category a menu category, a printer category, sales category, or tax category. The first two are essential for, for your menu to function properly. So let's go ahead to create a menu. So let's create a starter. Assign a course index zero, actually one, course one, because zero is dedicated for drink. Right. 
since drink will be like the first dish that you will be serving, let's create a main main menu, course index two. If you wish to create sub categories for any of the category, you can add. I'm going to create a alcoholic. Hit save. So now we have completed uh, creating three main category, three main category here. Let's go ahead and see how printer category works. Your printer category is essentially same as your kitchen print uh, kitchen printer or kitchen screen category. Now we have a main category. Let's add a bar. This will be a screen that you will want to put at your bar um, to separate from the kitchen side. So any of the drinks will go to the bar printer or go to the bar screen instead of the kitchen screen. Hit save. So now, now we have completed creating all the category. Let's go ahead and see how dishes can be created. In the dish panel, we have four viewing modes. The first mode is menu, menu view. So you can see dishes are being categorized into different menu. So now we have a dinner menu here. And there are four categories that we just created. So you can create dishes here. Or a better way or faster way to create a batch of dishes is to use our batch view mode. So let's try to create a few dishes using our batch mode, where you can create a lot of dish at the same time. Let's create a burger. Create a salad. And create a like a drink, like um, let's say alcoholic drink, beer, right? Okay. Next, um, so you can see all of the required, all of the required field will be indicated. So the first six category is required. So let's go and continue to create a price for each of the dish. Let's say burger, $12. $10, $6. If you wish to create any promotion pricing for any of your burgers, this will be additional settings that you will have to first create a promotion time. Because we haven't created any promotion time, you won't be able to select a promotion time. We will proceed to do it in a later tutorial. So select menus. So we only have created one menu here. So we'll select assign it all to the dinner menu and category required. So burger will be the main course and salad will be in the starter. Well, the beer belongs to drink and also alcoholic. So you only need to pick the subcategory one. So now we'll set will send the beer to the bar. So when you finish, hit create all. Success, your dish has been created. So when you're creating the dish, you do not have the options to upload the image. So now let's go to the batch edit to fix that. In the batch edit, you may need to refresh um, to see the latest dishes that you have created if you haven't seen any. Now let's go down to the dish that you would like to upload the image for. Veggie burger. You can crop. Hit OK. There, now you have successfully uploaded the image for burger. Let's try to upload, um, let's 
a salad image to crop. Okay. There. Changes has been saved. Now let's go back to your customer's menu and see and reload it and see what has been updated. So you see that we have created three categories. Each of the categories have one dish in it. In the drink category, we have the additional alcoholic category. So let's go into one of the dish and see what the users will be seeing. Because we haven't added any customizations or recommended drinks or other more advanced informations, this is what you can this is what you're seeing. So now let's go to add some customizations and uh, fill, fill up more information for dishes.